Twitch, twitter.com here, bringing you a video review today of Tweetage Adder version 3. Yes, it's been released and it's out now and it's available to download for those of you who already have it in version 2. You can automatically upgrade. It's a significant upgrade, but not one you're going to have to pay for. Uh, and it's and today I'm going to show a video uh, also for those of you who don't have to eat Adder yet, just to show you why it's more essential than ever that you have a tool like this. Uh, those of you who are familiar with Tweet Adder, uh, won't recognize this actually. They have made some significant changes to it and in this video I'm giving you a brief overview of Tweet Adder. Uh, but that's as far as, far as I'm going to go today. More in-depth features I'm going to do in some other videos but I thought I'd best show you this today. There's uh, lots to look at. So this is your overview where you can see your accounts here, how many people are following you and how many how many people you're following and how many followers you have, how many updates you've posted. Uh, how many people to, you've got left into your to follow list that you'll so source out uh, using Tweetadder easily. Uh, how many people you need to follow back, how many people to unfollow today, and how many tweets you've done. So if I click this button here, the open user, and then you select which profile you'd like to look at, this will look familiar to those of you who have version 2. It'll look familiar but slightly different as well, slightly cleaner. Uh, all the features that you remember from before are right here. Uh, you've got uh, your to follow list, which now has much more detail to it. Uh, I've, I've sourced all these out by searching for restaurant. I didn't put a location, but you can. There's lots of other you know, little filters that I'll tell you about in a little while that make uh, life very easy. And that's another great thing about version 3, is it'll now tell you where, where each of your followers uh, how you have found them when you search for them to start adding them. Uh, yeah, that's your to follow li list. Uh, you can search tweets here. You can do a profile data search. Uh, you know, you can put in your keyword here, the location. Um, you can specify whether you want to find profiles that don't that don't have a uh, d pr default picture. You know, the little Twitter bird. Because that would often mean that there's probably spammers or there are also probably people who aren't that interested in Twitter to upload an avatar on there. Uh, and you don't necessarily want to be following people like that. Um, you can do a pro yeah, profile data search, sorry, that's what we're already on. Uh, location search, you can search by followers of another user, search for those followed by another user. And another cool new feature of uh, Tweet Adder 3 is Twitter lists. You can follow people by searching for their username here and then the name of their list here and it will add those followers into your to follow list. Uh, it's a pretty cool new feature there. There's lots of cool new, plenty of cool new features. Uh, I'll, get, I'll go through a couple with you now actually when we're about halfway through. Uh, it doesn't run an API anymore which is a pretty big one. Um, TweetAdder did used to run an API, it doesn't as of version 3. Uh, it now runs via web. It's all more natural, it's all more secure than it was. Um, you won't have any compatibility issues with Twitter themselves because they uh, approve of this rather than the API these days, what we're using in this. And also, uh, yeah, um, when you when you also when you tweet, it will say via web, whereas before it would have said via API. So it looks all the more natural as well, as well like you're actually posting from Twitter itself. You can also have multiple profiles open at the same time. Like for example, I have two profiles here and they are both open. Both this guy and uh, my comp one of my companies here. They're both open right now and I just have to simply double click them and oops, I accidentally opened website. Uh, or you can you know, go back and uh, go on to your other one. And And also, um, what else we got here? You can, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, you can remove profiles with, uh, with, uh, without default pictures. Uh, I mean, with default pictures, so you're not following a lot of spammers and such. Uh, you can also remote, remove profiles with URLs in their tweets or the biography, which uh, means, you know, if, if there's a lot of, t if there's, someone's tweeting a lot of tweets that have got URLs in them, it's more than likely they're probably going to be a spammer or that they're just out to promote something constantly and you might not necessarily want to f find people like that uh, so that's another great feature of it uh, you get more flexibility 
uh, with your results. Uh, as I showed you here in my to follow list, it tells you, you know, your source, what you've searched for it. But also when you do a search, I won't do one right now, um, but because I'm just trying to get everything I can into this video, I will show you in like a, a later video in a couple of days. Uh, check out my other videos. Uh, yeah, it will tell you more. You'll get more of a description here and everything you need to know really before you decide whether you want to have them to your follow list or not. Uh, you get a unique tweet generator. And with this, as you can see from this example here that I'm pointing at, uh, you can add in a tweet, but putting certain words between these brackets and putting a comma between them means that the tweets will become unique. Like, for example, it says here, the, and then you've got a choice of quick, slow, or fast, and then a choice of brown, green, blue, or red. So in one tweet, it could say the quick brown, or in the next one, it could say the fast green, or the slow red. You know, it'll mix them up for you. And then you can click this button and it will generate the tweets for you automatically, which is a great little feature. Uh, great for unique content and such as well. And that's for your, you know, for backlinking and stuff as well. You can also do RSS uh, tweets. You can simply add an RSS feed right down here and it will post tweets from that RSS feed as they come in. Maybe, you know, you can post your own RSS feed in there. Or maybe, you know, a, a really cool source that your readers might be interested in, in seeing. Uh, you know, and that, you know, would attract them to be on your profile more for when you're posting your own uh, items. Uh, and also you've got auto retweets. And uh, I wouldn't recommend that, but auto retweets is in. Uh, it just takes away from the human experience for me, but it's there if you want it. And you've got your thank you messages and all the other things that you used to from Tweet Adder 2, if you've already got it. If not, these are just some great tools that uh, I'll tell you a little more about in future videos uh, to basically f here, you'll follow from the to follow list that you've created by just searching. It's such an easy process that it's ridiculous how easy Tweet Adder is to use. And it just be, it's just, you need it for your arsenal, whether you're a Twitter marketer or, you know, you just take Twitter very, very seriously. Uh, I recommend it. Uh, check out the link below. Go and take a look at the website. Uh, there's also a discount down there. You know, if you just dis if you do decide to get it via, the, via our, our exclusive link from twitch.twitter.com. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, check back for our other videos. I'm sure you'll like them. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this one. Check out Tweet Out of 3. Click the link below. And uh, seriously, it's a really cool application. It's our favourite. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.